how close that referendum result? So, uh, looking at those results, we know that if 34,000 people had switched their vote from no to yes, then the yes vote would have won. That's how slim the margin is here. There's 70,000 votes in total between it. So uh, uh, I think what this actually shows more than anything, and particularly extrapolating based on the feedback that I've had from folks on the street and emails and social media and otherwise, is there are a huge number of people who were very much on board with the idea of drug harm reduction, but didn't necessarily make the leap to thinking about progressing it through this quite narrow, quite niche, uh, and obviously quite complex proposed piece of legislation. So now more than ever, we seem to have a majority in New Zealand who is very comfortable with the conversation about how we progress that legislative change. So I'm looking forward to more occurring in the House of Parliament. Yeah, with it being so close, what, what does it say about where to from here? What it says about where to from here, well, actually what we have with um, this incredibly close referendum also, uh, the two commissioned reports by government, actually Labour ministers in the last term of Parliament, Turiki Turiki, by uh, Minister Andrew Little in his role as Minister of Justice, and the uh, Mental Health and Addiction Inquiry by uh, the then Minister of Health, Dr David Clark, both of which recommended a health-based approach to substances, and particularly to abuse uh, and addiction of those substances. What it says uh, is that we have an evidential basis <laughs> that we need to be moving in a different direction. We've had that since 2011, actually, when the Law Commission said as much. But now we have a mandate from the New Zealand public to continue this dialogue. And what I'm really proud of is the way that this conversation has progressed. What I feel by light years in the past three years. I remember uh, being on the likes of Talkback Radio uh, and out on street corners talking to folks only two and a half years ago where some of the kind of old school war on drugs rhetoric would typically come to the fore. People are far more inclined to now dig into the nuance and talk about solutions that work. Has the government put um, cannabis growth reform on the what I can tell you is that there are active conversations always underway about how we can best improve mental health outcomes. Uh, and as of the last term, I was having those conversations with then Minister of Health, Dr David Clark. There is unfinished business uh, with the Minister of Police, uh, Stuart Nash, around the work that we have to do when it comes to particularly festival drug checking services. And I would hope that we get underway with that as soon as possible because I don't want to be saying the same things when it comes to this summer festival season. So is that kind of, yes? <laughs> it's that uh, when you have done the amount of research that I have and when you have engaged with the effective communities as I have, it's not something that you let go of. So of course it's something that I'm going to bring up with all of the responsible ministers because I'm not comfortable with letting them sit on their hands. Your results in the Auckland Central electorate, they almost doubled when mm. they got all the final results in. What was your reaction to Stoked. <laughs> so happy. Um, I have been in touch with a lot of my campaign team. I got a bell from Helen White uh, saying congratulations. So um, yeah, it's been awesome. And what this means is that now, you know, we have the mandate, we have the security to just get on with the work. Uh, over the past three weeks, I, you know, met with Nikki Kay, the outgoing MP for Auckland Central on the Monday after the initial results came through. And I've been picking up a number of constituency cases since that point in time. So it'll be great to now have the resources <laughs> of an electorate MP because so far it's just been me <laughs> um, dealing with those issues and um, Tim in Parliament as well. So uh, yeah, very much looking forward to hitting the ground running in this role as we've been revving up that engine for the past three weeks now. What is being so reasonably close in Auckland Central? Were you nervous these last three weeks? Or, you know? Again, I think that there were a whole lot of people who told me to be nervous and actually went so far as to tell me to drop out uh, before we even got to election day. So, you know, we ran a really, really strong campaign and I believe that we could do it with every fibre of my being. Um, I, yeah, didn't feel that sense of anxiety nor nervousness, but I have taken up uh, doing a little bit more exercise of late. Cool. cool. Yeah. Sweet as. Cool. Awesome. Thank Thanks, Tim.